Hello. Alrighty, if you are joining us, we are walking through how to fill in an engraving using your Cricut. So if you're using your Cricut, the Cricut Design Space does not have the ability to fill in the engraving naturally. But there are a couple of ways to work around this. So if you're following along on the blog, we walked through in a different video the first option, just using your Design Space with Cricut. But this is the second option, which allows us to design our image in the Silhouette Studio and then upload it to our Cricut Design Space. Now I need to start out by saying that the only way you'll be able to do this method is if you have the business edition of the Silhouette Studio, which you will need to purchase separately. So if you've got that, then you're all set, you're ready to go, and I'm excited to walk you through this. So first things first, let's upload our file. So come up to file, click open, and we are gonna select this Days Till Christmas image. And it's a little bit bigger than the canvas size, so I'm just gonna bring that down a bit. And then I'm gonna come over here. I call this the little toast icon. It's definitely not toast, but that's what I think of every time I see it. I'm gonna highlight the entire thing, click select trace area. Oh, after I click select trace area, then you highlight the whole thing by dragging your, clicking over here, dragging your cursor over the entire thing and letting go. Then you're gonna click, you're going to click trace and detach. And these files are pretty big, so they do take a minute. So don't worry if it needs to load, just kind of be patient with it. Um, and at this point, if your image had a background, you would want to click on that image and, or the background and drag it off your, your mat. Mine didn't have one, so I don't really need to drag anything off at this point. But then I'm going to highlight the entire thing again. Come over to this little scribble icon and select, um, select which design you want for the sketching or etching. Um, <clears throat> at, as you can see, it then fills in my image. However, there's a lot of these little lines and I want it to give a really solid look, so I'm gonna highlight it again. And I'll click over here. I'm gonna change it to as low as it can go, that 0 .004. And it is gonna take a minute to think through that. Just brace yourself, because there is a lot going on. Uh, so while that's loading, I'll talk a little bit about these designs. I haven't played around with them a ton. Um, I typically find the most success with these top two. Um, that's what I tend to go towards and I, I really like the result. However, if you try some of these bottom ones out and you get a good result, definitely tag us in it. I'd love to see what they look like. I just haven't played around with them as much. So yeah, my favorite one is this one because it gives a nice outline to your images, which really defines them. So that's what I'd recommend. All right, it finally got there. So you'll see when you decrease this spacing, what it does is take out the space between each of the lines. So if we were to zoom really far in, you would see each of these lines, but from far away, it just looks like it's this nice, fully engraved, filled in image. So from here, we're gonna come over and we're gonna, oh, first, make sure you highlight your entire image again. There's a lot of that. Then you click File. We're gonna click Save Selection. If you don't do Save Selection and you have other Im images open on other mats up here, then it's gonna save all of them. We just want what we selected. You're gonna save it to your hard drive and the most important thing, you can of course change the name to whatever you want, but what's most important at this step is that you click format is SVG. Again, as a reminder, if you don't have the Business Studio, you won't have the option to select SVG. We're gonna go ahead and save that. Apparently I've been on my computer too long because it's just kind of taking a minute for all the loading. Once you've saved that, now we're gonna hop out over to your Cricut Design Space. And you're gonna click Upload. Upload your image. Um, you do that by clicking Browse. I've already uploaded my image, so I'm just gonna select it and add it to the canvas. All right, once it is on our canvas, for some reason that was a little small, you're gonna highlight your entire thing and this part's important. Um, as you can see over here, it's a bunch of separate basic cuts. You just wanna attach it to make sure that when it engraves, it keeps them all in the same order and format. So then resize it to, to fit whatever item you are engraving. And then you're gonna come over and click make it. They'll probably give you a warning saying that that's a big project and it's gonna take a minute. But at this point, you should be smooth sailing. Move it over to your project, align it to wherever your item is on your mat 
and make sure that it was set to a basic cut and um, that you then change your material to the heaviest cardstock option and you should be good to go. Heads up, this option will take a little bit longer because it is a little more of an intricate uh, cut or an intricate engraving, but the result is so worth it. So good luck.